Lord Patton, when you look at uh, the biggest concerns out there, China's one of them. Um, they're, they're trying to now figure out the 50, um, you know, institutions that are systemically at risk. How do you see that evolving? Do you worry about shadow banking in China? Well, I worry about a lot of things in, in China, not least about um, how China is affected by President Trump's policy, because President Trump, I think, has is, is got some real uh, grouses, as do Japanese and EU business leaders and politicians. But I think he's been going about it in a pretty cack-handed way. I, my main worries about China um, are, first of all, um, demographic, what's going to happen to China over the next few years. Secondly, um, growing debt. And thirdly, I think China's real difficulty in avoiding the middle income trap, which Chinese leaders, the more intelligent ones, have been talking about for years, um, given the extent to which President Xi Jinping has rolled back Deng Xiaoping's uh, reforms um, and um, has put the party in even more control uh, over everything that's happening in society and I think turning the party into a real block to further progress. So um, while I hope for the best in China, um, I think that um, this is a time for real caution and the caution is increased by the fact that there's all the evidence of um, a growing uh, a trade war between the United States and China. How long would, do you think that trade war will last? Can it last 20 years or will it escalate and then die down? I, I, I hope not. Uh, behind all this is, is what's something geostrategists, and I'm slightly suspicious about geostrategy, which is obviously an easier way of earning your living than being a plumber or an electrician. Um, geostrategists call it the Thucydides trap, the idea that um, the biggest kid on the block um, always wants to knock down um, the up-and-coming kid. And I think if that's the basis for an American policy, um, God help all of us. Um, I think China um, needs to be um, brought into the global system of economic and political governance, but it can't do so on its own terms. Look, I was, I was with um, Pascal Lamy and others, um, part of the teams that negotiated Chinese membership of the WTO and by and large the idea that the Chinese always keep their word is for the birds uh, the Chinese have steadily resiled from many of the commitments they made either implicitly or explicitly with the WTO um, and so it's more difficult to invest in China than it is for the Chinese to invest here when I was in uh, um, Northern California, Sebastian Malaby, with virtually everything he said, I agreed. Sebastian Malaby was talking about Northern California. Well, I was there last week, and people were re repeating that old saw that there are two sorts of American companies those that are being hacked by China and those that know they're being hacked by China. And there's a real, there's a real issue of uh, intellectual property theft uh, in the IT sector and in others.